Parliament's on the box. Okay. <laughs> I'm not ready for that story to continue. Yeah. I know, I'm waiting for me to write that one. <laughs> well, it's funny because we all thought it was going to end, so season five was wrapped up nicely with a goodbye. And then obviously now... It had got... a big bow on it. Yeah. Yes. It was kind of done. We all said goodbye. It was very sad. There was a lot of crying. Yeah. And then boom. Two more seasons. Well, that's because we really didn't know if we were coming back for season six. So right. the writers, I think, really wanted to make sure that there was some sort of ending. Yeah. Yeah. So will we feel as ultimate an ending this time? Are they going to wrap it up again nicely? Or are we going to leave it open? Sorry. There will be a form of an ending. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. No, I'm going to really answer. The, uh, kind of. The, um, will it be you can't do, the, the number one rule in screenwriting is you don't do a double beat. If you already did that, you got to do something different. And certainly, you know, they, they took a bold shot. Uh, they killed Coulson again. They, for good, it seems like, um, at the end of season five. So there's a very different set of stories coming and a very different way that the team evolves around that through the rest of season six, which is going to be a little mind-blowing. And then uh, the whole season seven, which is once again them tearing the whole thing down to the studs, with some of the same pieces, and it's a very, very, very different season seven that we're really excited about. So it's an ending that will work based on a lot of story that we've shot and you guys haven't seen yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, but we're actually, uh, this week we're shooting our last episode. Right. So, we can talk, so let's talk about something you can talk about. Okay. Which is the we last can talk about season four. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. It's not on? No, no my, focus, my focus just went out. I don't know. You I do that sometimes. You just broke the phone. <laughs> you broke the camera. I've killed more cameras. Is that your super I just know you need to get that on video. Uh, yes, okay. So uh, the, the question I have is the episode that just aired, where uh, apparently May just kind of double tapped on Coulson. Oh, not no, Susie? no, 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 don't, 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 don't say it that way. Just Sarge. Don't she's, say double tap. Double tap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at her reaction. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry. No, that's where it came from. Just sorry, tap that sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, that's that's the the sorry. My question was how. Can you talk a little bit about how that scene came about? How you shot it, and what's the repercussions? You know, we do so much so fast. It's it's such big stakes that. I remember that day as being like, okay, what are, is there one more scene? Oh, yeah, there's that thing. Oh, oh, geez, that's right. Yes. And then we just, bam, we're back there. And it's not a super complicated scene visually. It's just about putting in some kind of the makeup and the stuff. And I feel like it just was, boom, okay, that's happening. And, oh, wow, okay, I just got killed again. <laughs> How has um, it been working with each other, going from characters who are you know, very close to energy? I thought that was a really fun, thrilling, weird I mean, I loved our fight scene in the truck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was really a complicated, good. tough fight oh, scene. My God. But it was, it, it was fun. It was, yeah, 100%. Yeah. And yeah. the intercut, I thought it was brilliant. Uh, Lou Diamond Phillips directed the hell out of that episode. Really? Uh, intercut between... The, the Tahiti, the, the choking loving. to death yeah, in the yeah, truck, yeah, yeah. and then like much more loving caresses in Tahiti. <laughs> There's a lot of outtakes from the Tahiti stuff. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be on Shield After Dark, which is the, <laughs> the spin-off. I'd love to see that. Sorry, she got me in. in okay, so, 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 the night. They, yes, very much so. so what do you it's on Skinamax. <laughs> so what, what do you want to do next? Like, what is the actual thing that you want to do that you're seeking out to do after this? As, as, actors, as, as actors, as Migna Wen and. Yes. And what's your Whatever name? Whatever your name again. Name again? <laughs> you just double tap me and you don't know my name. Okay. Yeah, what do you want to do, me? I would love to do a sitcom. Oh. Personally. Okay. You've done that for many years. I did it for two years and I loved it. You've done it. It's a fun thing. If you're doing comedy all day, you just laugh a lot. You're in a yeah. good mood a lot. Yeah. And then you're in front you're of funny. a live audience. Great. I'd love it. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it could be a good sitcom that's like Mulan the later years. <laughs> you know? If you were going to do an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. sitcom, oh, how would you want to cast it? Just watch the group of real. Huh? Like, how would you want to cast it? Like, would you want to have everybody involved or just have, like, certain people do it? Like, who are the people that you would really love to have, like, funny? Ian's funny. Ian, Ian is funny. funny. Jeff Ward is funny. Yes. Henry's secretly very funny. Oh, so funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can I ask a quick question about legacy? What would your word be on the legacy of your characters and the show as a whole? For me, it's it's 
it's a, I feel like in a way it's already happening because this show is wrapped around such humanity and such heart that it's affected a lot of our fans and they've been so incredibly supportive and, and, and they, they love us. So for that, I'm just hoping that as a legacy, it continues on for generations, for generations to come. It's almost uh, the world has caught up with us a little bit, but when this show came out of the gate, uh, there wasn't this kind of representation on television to go to cons at season one or two together as a squad and see young girls of all different colors, genders, sex, you know, every kind of flavor of human. They're dressed up as the characters, uh, as Quake, as Agent May, and now as director uh, Mackenzie and Yo-Yo. It's to have that silently just be part of what S.H.I.E.L.D. is, is a world that's a little bit closer to what most of us are hoping the world will be like, which is very different from a world that a lot of people are pushing on right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. More hopeful, randomly. Yeah. More hopeful and more accepting more that the accepting. world is designed yeah. to be colorful. It's like there's been colorful. three apocalypses, but it's a little more hopeful. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much.